Want to hear a great rock pun? Give me a moment and I'll dig one up. Today we're going to be talking about if rocks can glow. We are going to be looking through my whole collection of rocks and seeing if we can find any of that glow. Now to spoil the whole video for you right here and right now, I'm going to tell you, no, rocks cannot glow in the dark. However, there's a catch. There are some minerals that are fluorescent, which means if you take a UV light and shine them on the rocks, they will appear to glow. And they can glow in a variety of colors, pink, blue, yellow, green, just to name a few. So if you wanna try this experiment for yourself at home to see if any of your rocks from your collections glow and have that fluorescence, you will need a UV light. The UV light today that I'm using is a little flashlight that I bought off of Amazon. One thing to be careful of is to make sure that you don't shine that UV light in your eyes because UV lights are harmful to our skin and our eyes. I also will probably be wearing gloves, which is a little bit added precaution that you probably don't really need to do, um, but I like to do it just for safety. Now before we get started, if you like this kind of content, make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up and if you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. All right, well that's enough chatting. Let's go see if we can find some cool glowing rocks. Okay, now I have lots and lots and lots of rocks. So I'm hoping that we are able to at least find a few rocks that can glow. Now this is the flashlight that I'm going to be using. This is a UV flashlight, like I said, that I bought on Amazon. And when you turn it on, it emits this kind of blue-ish light here. It's going to be difficult to see if we have any fluorescence in our rocks if it is bright. So I'm going to dim the lights. As you can see, my case is a bit fluorescent here. And we're gonna go through and see if we can find any cool rocks that glow. All right, we have our first set of rocks here. I've got my handy dandy glove, and I'm just gonna go through and see if we can find any that luminous. Ooh, okay, when we get up to these ones, I can see this right here has just a touch of fluorescence so you can see it's actually glowing this is a piece of a geode so I'll turn the light off so you can see what it looks like just a regular piece of geode here and we'll turn it back on Ooh, you can see that glow that is really cool all right well we already found one that's got at least a little bit of fluorescence here we've got another case of beautiful rocks a lot of these rocks I actually found in Lake Superior so I'm hoping we can maybe find some that glow. All right, didn't find anything here. This is my collection of large tumbled rocks. So let's see what we got. Oh, I think we found something. Now this is a piece of agate. I can't decide it, I mean, I feel like it kind of glows, but I really don't think it has like a fluorescence to it. So here's what it looks like, just without any light on it. And with it. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think that one glows? Let's compare it to this one, because we know this one for sure had a bit of a glow. Ooh, see, I don't know, that's kind of hard to tell. It's, it kind of seems like it's maybe glowing like a yellowish color. We'll put it out here and, uh, Keep thinking about it. Now here is one that definitely glows. Ooh, look at how cool that is. Oh my gosh, that white on there. Oh, what? That looks awesome. This is another agate. The white, I believe is, is it calcite it might be? But that is a gorgeous one. Oh my gosh, how cool. Here's what it looks like without any UV light. All right, I think that's all we got here. Time for the next one. Here is my absolute favorite collection. Can you guess why? It is all agates. So let's take a look and see if any of these agates glow. Ooh, now this one looks like it glows. Look at that, it's kind of like an orangish glow. Here's what it looks like with no UV light and with, ooh. Okay, okay, that's kind of cool. I feel like some of them also do have like just a little bit of glow. Like for example, this one kind of does. It's got that orangish glow. But I don't know if it's like super intense. 
like some of the glow that you'll see and the fluorescence that you'll see is gonna be like super intense. So maybe we'll keep this one out, but it's not super intense like some of them can be. On to the next one. Okay, this is my case of Jaspers, a couple of like little fossil-y things, and some petrified woods. Let's see what we get. Ooh, okay, look at this one. Oh, that is so cool. This is a horn coral fossil. And you can see, look at that glow. Whoa, oh, look at that side. That is really cool. Okay, so that is really interesting. So it's like the fossil -y bits really glow in this one. That is really, I really like that side with the like chain looking fossil part there. Wow, okay, here's what it looks like without the UV light. Just a plain little horn coral fossil. Cool. I kind of feel like this petrified wood is just a little bit, you see that? It's kind of like a orangish, reddish color. You can just see it, just a tiny bit of fluorescence. Here's what it looks like without any UV light. Ooh, oh my goodness. Ooh, I think, oh, this is the best one so far. Look at that. This one's like a pinkish red. So this is another piece of petrified wood. Wow, oh, especially right there. That is so cool. See, this is why rocks are awesome. They have all kinds of little hidden details that I never even knew existed. All right, and there, that's what it is. That's what it looks like without UV light. Just a regular piece of petrified wood. Wow. Watch the change, it looks so cool. Wapa, waya, wapa, waya. Kind of looks like, if you turn it this way, it kind of looks like it's got like a mouth and a nose and some eyes. And it's like a little screaming person. Ah! Well, that was definitely the best one that we found so far. Ooh. Oh, okay. This petrified wood really seems to be having a lot of cool stuff. Ooh, look at that. That's like another like reddish one. That is awesome. It's just that little bit too, like this, these little edge areas. What do they look like without the light? Hmm. That's so interesting. So there's with, without. Where's that other spot right here? It all looks like the same kind of mineral, but if you turn on the light, only the top part glows and the bottom doesn't. That is so interesting, I wonder why that is. All right, lights off, lights on, lights off, lights on. Anything else in here? These petrified woods seem to really have a lot of cool little colors. This one kind of, oh yeah, right there. This one also has that, wow. This one almost looks like molten lava. That, ooh, look at that part. Huh. All right, without and with. Without the light, with the light. All right, well, I would say that this was a pretty good case. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, this one is my case of small tumbled rocks. They're also sorted by color. <laughs> so let's see what we got. This one's got a bit, it's kind of hard when they're tumbled, but it's got a bit of the fluorescence on it right there. Here's what it looks like without. Huh. That's a pretty cool one. We'll keep it out. On to the next one. Now this next one, as you can see, is all of my very, very large rocks. So let's take a look and see if we can find any more fluorescence. Ooh, right off the bat, look at this guy. This one's definitely got some glow to it. Oh, and some unique glow too. Look at that. Ooh, and right there's a really bright spot too. Here's what it looks like without the light. Even though it's got some really pretty colors, it's actually not natural. So this is a dyed rock. So that could be part of uh, the reason that it glows. I'm not really sure, but it is still cool nonetheless. Here is a beautiful geode. Wanted to see if the inside maybe glowed at all. Oh, and it does. Not a whole lot, but it definitely does have fluorescence. That's so cool. So here it is without the light. And with the light. That's awesome. Okay, here is the last set of rocks that we're gonna look at today. So let's take a look. Ooh. 
so this one it, ah, it's not showing up on camera very well again but in real life it is like super glowy that is so cool here's what it looks like without this is a piece of fluorite oh, I wish it show up better it's like really it's glowing a lot I don't know if it has fluorescence but the UV light really makes it glow All right now there's one more thing that I was curious about and that's fossils I want to see if any fossils might glow in the UV light. We already saw that my other set of fossils, this horn coral fossil, has got that cool glow to it. So let's see if any of these fossils have fluorescence. Ooh, okay, I can already kind of see some cool stuff. Oh, ooh, look at that. There we go. Oh, whoa. Look at, that's like a green glow. What? Look at that. I think that's the first one that we've had that's glown green. Here is what it looks like without any UV light. Super interesting. Ooh, this next one is like a set of teeth or jawbone of some sort. And the teeth kind of glow on this one. Pretty neat. Ooh, look at that. That looks awesome. No glow, glow. And I think that's about it for these ones. Here are all of the rocks and the minerals and the fossils and the petrified woods that do glow, if you want to call it, in the dark or have what we like to call fluorescence. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. And if you did, give it a big old thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. I make new videos like this every single week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.